We're back on Blitz here in Cleveland. I'm Brian Carr. Joining me now, again, two of the most elite runners in the state here at White County. we got Jenna Gearing, a two-time state champion, and Kristen Mitchell finished third in state last year. Girls, thank you so much for stepping in front of the camera today. Thank you for coming. <laughs> now, if we were to sit here and talk about the accolades and the success that both of you have had individually, we would be here all day. So just in light of, of you know, the state titles that you had to start your career, Jenna, um, how, how pleased are you with the way that your freshman season went? Well, honestly, I was blessed to have the teammates I have and the coach I have because they helped me out um, so much. But I was very pleased, obviously, that I could do what I did, and I hope that this year I just get better. Now, Kristen, um, kind of the same question for you. You've had a pretty good career, too, your first couple of years here. And, again, you had some podium finishes at state last year, you know, both in cross country and track and field, just a lot of success. How pleased have you been with the way that you've, you know, performed your first half of your career? Um, I've been very pleased. Like Jenna said, just your team helps you out so much, and you just love your team. And it's not only about you. It's also about helping out your team. So. All right, so both of you uh, get your take on this next question. Just uh, from the amount of you know success that you guys have had in cross country, and let's just focus on that, not so much the track and field part right now, but it's hard to improve from a year ago the way that you, you guys have run as a team and individually. But how, how have you been able to kind of you know take your game another level, if that's even possible for you? Well, I think our team does good about thinking about where we placed last year and just knowing that we want to get further. And we just are kind of pushing ourselves by racing against each other because all of us are pretty close when we run. And that's just helping us out a lot. Um, yeah, you just kind of push yourself and you find your limits and then you keep pushing your limits until you just can't go faster anymore. And now, this could be a uh, very special year for you girls. I mean, it's already shaping up that way. You're ranked third in Class 3A cross country for the girls. Um, you know, a lot of excitement. But what does it do when you, when you see the rankings, you hear the chit-chat, you get people like me coming out here asking you questions about it? I mean, is that hard to kind of block that out and just concentrate on, on running? Sometimes, yes, the nerves do kill you. <laughs> I get so nervous. But when it comes down to the race, it just all depends on how you do. Mm -hmm. And you just got to focus on that and just run. For me, it's hard because you have all these expectations and you don't really know like how your body is going to be feeling that season, but I just kind of try to push it all back and then just do what I know I can do and then try to excel from there. Uh, now, Jenna, I go to you on this question. Uh, you broke numerous school records in your freshman season. There's still two left that are available for you to accomplish in the events that you currently run, the 3,000 and the 5,000 that uh, Jesse Dotson, who graduated the year before you, came on here at White County, um, but you're just, I think, eight seconds off of one of those and nine seconds off the other. What would it mean to you to be able to just completely rewrite the record books? Um, honestly, it'd be amazing. Jesse was a great runner, and it was sort of awesome that I could step into her footsteps and see what it was like, but I hope I am able to do that in my high school career, but it'd be fun. Now, Kristen, for you, you also own a record as well for the school as well. But um, leaps and bounds, when you look at your first year and second year, uh, you made a, a vast improvement, I think, in one of your runs, about an average of a minute. Um, how are, you know, what do you contribute to being able to make that kind of growth in your running? What, what field do you to be able to do that? Um, honestly, just I'm still finding, like, how far I can go and how much I can push myself. And every year I just try to take it a step farther mm -hmm. so I improve every year. Okay, and so part of that, you know, comes in with uh, just a great work ethic and a lot of hard work that, you know, you girls have put in. But talk about the, the necessary steps that you have to take individually to position yourself to be at your top performance come the end of the season when it matters most, but also have fresh legs underneath you when you run. Well, you have to be very careful, obviously, and you just have to work hard and just have in your head that you are able to do it, and you want to break all your time, so I guess it's just good to work hard. <laughs> um, you have to really listen to your body and talk to, like, if I'm hurting, I just talk to Coach Borg and he'll tell me how to take it from there and if I need to slow down or if it's not really a problem. And so you just listen to your body. Well, Kristen and Jenna, thank you girls so much for stepping in front of the camera. I know it's not easy, but thank you so much for your time on Blitz. Thank you. <laughs> All right, when we come back, we got another interview for you, some highlights and our player of the week.